नमस्ते विशाखा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल नक्षत्र इट इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट नक्षत्र विशाखा इज रूल्ड बाय ज्युपिटर एंड इन धिस पॉडकास्ट आई हैव टॉक्ट ब्रीफली ऑन विशाखा सो लेट्स बिगेन Intensity is the word for Vishaka whether it is learning whether it is love whether it is sex whether it is work or whether it is meditation the person having moon in Vishaka is very intense in whatsoever he or she does and this is exactly what the master wants intensity what is intensity how would you define intensity when all your desires when all your passions become one flame it is intensity when there is only one desire left inside you and your total being supports that one it is intensity the general public talks a lot about god and seeking god but out of millions of people only one becomes buddha only one becomes mahavira only one becomes kabir why only a few in millions attain god realization why only a few could experience the beyond the unseen because not everybody has the intensity that these fellows had always remember you will find millions of people coming and asking the most foolish question how to experience god and these people will create and add many philosophical theories on how to experience god be aware of such people my fellows because philosophy and theories have absolutely nothing to do with god god is not a philosophical theory it is an experience of intense passion remember when the guest is being searched for it is the intensity of the longing for the guest that does all the work look at me and you will see a slave of that intensity says sant kabir kabir is simply interested in your intensity who can be intense only that man only that woman who has dropped the head the mind many people would come to kabir and say i want to become your disciple kabir would smile and say if you want to become my disciple then first you have to cut off your head only then can you become my disciple the head logic cannot let you jump and god can be experienced only when you are willing to take the risk when you are willing to jump into the unknown people say think twice before you jump whereas the master says jump first and then think as much as you want only a man of heart only a woman of heart can jump and only such a man such a woman can fall in love and if you can fall in love then some day you can also fall in love with god that is how mira bai fell in love with krishna lord krishna how to experience the intense devotion of mira bai how to express the intense devotion of arjuna how to express the intense devotion of john that is why i say that the greatest lovers on this planet have been intense 
so much so that they have forgotten themselves totally they have become the greatest lovers that the world had ever known vishaka nakshatra has such intensity that is why shri guru loves vishaka and that is why in astrology planet jupiter rules over vishaka vishaka is the abode of jupiter the abode of buddha the intensity of vishaka if gets the support of ketu detachment then a great yogi is born a great soul is born who shows the path the way to his followers to those who are thirsty for god for the ultimate truth remember guru will never give you the truth instead guru will point you towards the truth which you have to attain by taking the necessary efforts a guru is never a giver of truth he is a guide a pointer to the truth that each disciple must find for himself you will be able to experience the truth only when you have intensity within you vishaka is the source of great intensity and one who has moon in vishaka is indeed a man a woman of great intensity even sun in vishaka brings great intensity to your inner being your character these men and women go to any extent when it comes to love and only one who can risk everything for love can also risk everything for god because god is love and love is real born with moon or sun either in the last 5 degrees of libra or the first 3 degrees of scorpio is a man of great intensity if he loves a woman he is prepared to sacrifice everything for her remember true love is selfless it is prepared to sacrifice always remember ego is happy when it is able to take something whereas love is happy when it is able to give something true love is sacrifice it is in giving not in getting vishaka has a certain depth of understanding and it is this depth of understanding that enables the native to sacrifice for the larger interest of his love a man having moon in vishakha is perfectly aware that love blossoms when you have a certain depth of understanding gautam buddha says to understand everything is to forgive everything true love is born from understanding says buddha fellows born on vishakha nakshatra whether moon or sun in vishakha are truly born lovers and moon in vishakha simply exaggerates this tendency of falling in love multiple times in life and so when you have the tendency of falling in love then it is but natural that you may end up having multiple love affairs and so moon in vishakha fellows simply end up having multiple love affairs in life moon in vishakha is like a powerful 3000 cc engine however it is necessary to observe whether the driver has the potential to drive this powerful engine efficiently and attain the destination that is the goal of life who is the driver jupiter 
गुरु द मास्टर हु इज द गुरु द सेल्फ इज द गुरु से इज भगवान रमण महर्षि हु इज द सेल्फ द सेल्फ इज योर कॉन्शियसनेस एंड सो इट इज ओनली वेन यू रेज द लेवल ऑफ योर कॉन्शियसनेस दैट दिस मून इन विशाखा कैन एक्चुअली हेल्प यू अटेन द मिशन द गोल ऑफ योर लाइफ देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट मेनी सोल्स कम इन ह्यूमन फॉर्म विथ हायर लेवल ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस टू सच अ सोल मून इन विशाखा बिकम्स अ वंडरफुल मीडियम टू प्रोग्रेस फर्दर इन देर स्पिरिचुअल ग्रोथ ऑलवेज रिमेंबर मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल आर बॉर्न ईच मिनिट विथ मून इन विशाखा so certain aspects always differ based on individual charts nobody is inferior and nobody is superior but nobody is equal either every person is unique and astrology is just one of the many sciences to study the uniqueness of each individual on this planet emotional intelligence is one of the striking quality of moon in vishakha and there is a reason for this vishakha dwells in airy sign libra as well as it also dwells in the watery sign scorpio watery signs bring emotions to the forefront airy signs bring intelligence to the forefront combine both and you get emotional intelligence emotional intelligence can become the game changer to high performance and personal leadership vishakha thus gets the best of both signs libra brings balance intelligence and scorpio brings intensity and emotions to the forefront such a native is good at expressing himself relationships means a lot to natives having moon in vishakha and generally if jupiter and venus is well placed then these fellows do well in maintaining their relationships by being emotionally intelligent to be emotionally intelligent means to understand the powerful emotions of your and of others and to handle it properly vishakha brings a certain art the native has attained expertise in certain art be it dancing cooking singing or playing music vishakha moon has immense power to produce high priests religious beings since vishakha brings the direct connection of jupiter shri guru as per vedic astrology nelson mandela was also born with moon in vishakha and he was a very spiritual being and a god lover one of his beautiful quote is we were born to make manifest the glory of god that is within us it's not just in some of us it's in every one always remember astrology is not one dimensional because life is not one dimensional life is multi dimensional life is here and now multi dimensional spreading in every direction if you want to move into your life throw your specs throw your concepts throw your systems throw out your thoughts throw out your minds be born into life here and now this multi dimensional life spreading everywhere then you become the center and the whole life belongs to you not only a particular road then the whole life belongs to you everything that is in it all belongs to you this is the ultimate realization 
that i am not a drop in the ocean i am a whole ocean in a drop in our scriptures the ancient seers therefore mention aham brahmasmi meaning i am the universe all that is on the outside the stars the planets they are within me and this is so deep only an evolved soul could relate could resonate with this sing dance celebrate life and live life intensely that is the message of moon in vishakha kabir says god is not attained by your theories and techniques god is attained only when you have intense thirst for attaining him ordinary people go on moving in circle they think they are moving but they continue to move in a circle just the way a bull continues to move in circle when tied for extracting oil from seed crops growth means not moving in circle growth means something new is happening every day every moment and when does that happen when you start living intensely and that is exactly what vishakha is all about my fellows moon in vishakha simply exaggerates this intensity now depending on the quality of the horoscope quality of jupiter venus in your birth chart this exaggerated intensity will trigger it can either make you a dawn or a saint there is no middle ground you are either a hitler or a buddha extremes is the very nature of vishakha you are either on the road or on the top of the world vishakha knows no middle ground alexander 3 or better known as alexander the great was born with the moon in vishakha and he was the epitome of ambitiousness he was the most ambitious person and he wanted to conquer the world intensity of vishakha moon is very high indeed of all the 27 nakshatras vishakha is one of my favorite nakshatra i love the intensity the depth the madness that this nakshatra brings remember a certain madness is needed to experience the beyond the truth imperfection is beauty madness is genius a person needs a little madness else he would never dare to be free this madness comes from vishakha the intense star the magical star the genius star i love vishakha and i humbly prostrate before vishakha the messenger of the divine the godly nakshatra vishakha one who kneels before the godly can stand before any one the very action of prostration brings great miraculous power because when you prostrate before god you surrender and one who surrenders to god is taken care of but who wants to listen and so the miseries continue but those who have listened those who have surrendered at the feet of the master the guru the godly those men and women will always emerge victorious because victory comes not by your intellect and logic victory comes when your heart beats in the name of god when you start chanting the holy name of god remember what cannot be achieved through the performance of vedic rituals can be easily achieved through the chanting of the lord's holy name start chanting the name of the lord the more you chant 
with devotion and love the more you will be able to overcome the restless mind everything is science but who wants to listen remember truth is not for all because to realize the truth you need to have a certain depth of understanding only then the truths can be given remember to meditate every day remember to chant the holy mantra the sign of your spiritual progress is based on how less you entertain your thoughts and how more you spend time in silence blissful silence the great spiritual master bhagwan raman maharshi says the degree of freedom from unwanted thoughts and the degree of concentration on a single thought are the measures to god's spiritual progress this concentrating on a single thought that the bhagwan mentions is the name of the lord the holy mantra when you chant concentrate on the holy mantra om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya nobody can help you attain god except for your intense thirst for lord one day it happened the whole village was waiting for the arrival of buddha and after a while buddha arrived the villagers thought that now the master will speak but buddha remained silent they all wondered why the master is silent for whom he is waiting and when someone asked buddha said i am waiting for that little girl whom i met while i was on the way and she said i am also coming to hear your discourse i will start my discourse only when she arrives that is how the heart of a true master is once promised he remains true to his word and after a while the little girl arrived and she said you kept your promise i am so touched please begin with your discourse i can't wait to hear your divine voice your insightful words and buddha started with his discourse and such was his voice such were his words that the whole village was engrossed for 60 minutes they all were moved and after the discourse they all bowed before buddha expressed their gratitude and went back to their home but the little girl she remained seated she said master i cannot leave you i want to be with you buddha said i am always with you i am always with those who are thirsty for my love my words my sharing you don't have to come with me i am with you the girl still wasn't ready then buddha raised her and said i am getting old and the road is long you may not see me in my physical form but i will be always around you i came to this village for you your prayers your longing made me come here don't worry you will be my messenger you will grow and you will spread the light of consciousness to the farthest shores of this planet with these words the benevolent master left buddha left and the girl was in tears but those tears were tears of joy she realized that she has been blessed with the gift the gift of consciousness that night ananda asked buddha how do you decide your journeys and buddha said i never plan my journeys 
my legs simply start moving towards those who are thirsty for my words my love my sharing and this is how the compassionate divine master is neither your status nor your wealth will move him towards you if at all anything that will make him move towards you then that is your love your unwavering faith and your intensity vishaka is the second name for intensity one who is blessed by vishakha always is intense in whatever he or she does and eventually it is this intensity that leads him towards the beyond the divine the godly it is only through intensity that one arrives when all your desires when all your passions become one flame it is intensity blessed are those who are born on vishakha for they have the intensity within the seed exists now whether it will sprout and grow into a beautiful tree is based on what choices you make in life how consciously you live your life it is your choice each moment the choice has to be faced each moment you are on the crossroads the road you choose becomes instrumental in shaping your destiny in shaping the seed within you and you will make the right choice only when you raise the level of your awareness your consciousness so it all comes down to that one miraculous golden word consciousness some day you all should read my first published book gift of consciousness the great guru paramahamsa yogananda says when cosmic consciousness comes into the ream of matter into each of the atoms that make up the planets and island universes and the different forms of planet animal and human life that consciousness is called christ consciousness the west calls it christ consciousness the east calls it krishna consciousness the far east calls it buddha consciousness the names change based on faiths what remains constant is consciousness god consciousness vishaka being connected with sri guru has the potential to help you raise the level of your consciousness all you need is the willingness to dive within the willingness the thirst and the intensity to experience god focus on raising the level of your consciousness and that is possible when you start meditating and chanting every day always remember you can change your life all you need is to surrender yourself at the feet of the master and to follow the words of the master and the word of the master is the word of god and the word is very simple the message is very simple focus on being consistent in your daily spiritual practices be consistent in meditating and chanting every day that is the solution the only solution that can help you experience lasting happiness jai shri ganesha jai guru
ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम